Hi, Charles Moment here from Seymour, Indiana. Well, you just saw some drone shots of our Ford Transit, and today we're going to add something else up on the roof. Thanks for watching. Well, I think I'm catching one of the last beautiful days of the fall season. We're near the end of October. Gorgeous weather may even be 80 degrees, so I thought I'd better get out here and do this video about adding a new power 200 watt solar panel to my roof, to the one that's already up there. Before I do that, let me just give you a little background. My wife and I converted this Ford Transit. It's a 2018 250 148 wheelbase medium roof van. We got it empty. And about two years ago, we were really into the thick of converting this. Right now, it looks kind of plain Jane. We normally would have beautiful bedspreads on here. My wife really did a wonderful job with all the woodwork. But we just emptied it out. We got back from an ultra trail race. I've been doing ultras for years. And my wife finally decided to join the club. And uh, we did a 50K together up at South Bend at a race that we love. And so uh, we, I emptied it all out, and uh, we have another trip, I think, in a few weeks that we'll be taking. We're a little different than a lot of people that have a van. We are not what people refer to as van lifers. Um, I'm 71. I'm retired. My wife as well. And we wanted to uh, do camping. We had a small mini camper made by Runaway Campers, but then we decided to go with something a little bit bigger. We had so much fun doing this project. What's different about us is we go camping, we come back home. We love our place here. And so we would, I don't want to live in this, but we like taking trips in it. And so we made it a simpler build than most. A lot of people that do the van builds, they put solar panels up there. But inside, usually in a garage area, we have beds built like this. They have a charge controller, inverter, and all that. And it's great. And they have typically one or 200 amp hour batteries. Um, and it's all wired up to their solar. And I am too, except instead of doing these uh, standalone batteries with uh, all the hardware, the inverter, and charge controller, instead I have what people refer to as solar generators. There are a bunch of brands out there. And I've got two 1300 watt and a 2100 watt in here in, in, this, in two boxes right here, a fuse block. And whenever I want to power our uh, puck lights or 12 volt fridge or max air fan or USB ports or anything else, I just plug in that fuse block into one of these um, lithium all in one solar generators and it runs everything. And I even have it wired for regular house outlets up there so we can run a microwave or uh, coffee maker. And then I, have, um, I can bring in uh, shore power as well through an, uh, an inlet on the side. So, in, as far as what we can do, it's the same as the people that do the uh, what I would refer to as a little more complicated system, but in the end we're, we're accomplishing the same thing. But I have the equivalent of four 100 amp hour batteries inside here. And so we love it, it works great, and we also um, have, we can charge these batteries via shore power, either here at home or on the road, and we typically, typically camp 50% or more with shore power. Unless we're at a national park, many of them don't have it. Uh, if we're in between places and we stop at a rest area or a Cracker Barrel, we don't have sh shore power, but we have enough power to take care of us for sure. Uh, but when we're driving, we want to recharge these, and so we can uh, recharge them with the DC to DC charger. So I've got that running from the front, and then we can also do it with solar. And my dilemma initially was I could only find 100 watt panels that I could fit up there. We have a deck up there, as I'll show you shortly. I'll get try to get up there soon, and. Um, we wanted to be able to get up there, and we do. Sometimes we take pictures where we just hang out. You know, it's a beautiful scenery. We want to get up there. I put a storage box up there as well. Um, but my problem was I, I wanted more than just 100-watt panels. And finally, I found this, uh, I think, two, three, four months ago. I've been searching, searching, and I found that New Power had this 200-watt 9BB, which is a more efficient kind of solar panel. Um, they had it in a size that would fit between my fairing on my roof rack and my Max Air fan. And then I contacted them and said, hey, I'm thinking about putting two of your smaller ones on either side of the Max Air fan and then leave, still leave a good part of the deck open. 
And they said, well, you could do that. Uh, I'm not a techie, but they said it really, really would be better to have matching solar panels instead of having one of these and then two 25 or 50s on the side. And so they, they noticed I had a YouTube channel, and they, they offered to send me one. So I'm not, this is not a paid promotion, but they did give me this to review. Um, I typically won't make a video about anything that I don't, I don't already know is good because I already had one. So they uh, sent me a second panel. Um, I've already got brackets on it. Um, I spray paint the edges black just to kind of match my uh, roof rack up there. And so I measured and went, oh, you know what? I can fit this in on the other side of the Max Air fan and still have some room. So um, I'll take you up there in just a second. But that's just a little background about how we use this fan and um, why we're a little bit different. And if you want to watch our van build, I'll, I'll put a link down below. And you can see in infinite detail how we have it all wired and powered. Uh, let's go up on the roof and I'll show you what's going on up there. Well, I changed my mind. Instead of going up there right now, let's talk about the star of the show. and That is this new power 200 watt 9 BB solar panel. So let me give you some of the specifications. As I talk, I'll get out of the way and show you a lot of graphics from their website. And how do I know all this? Well, I'm not a techie, but I do a lot of research and I've got some channels online that I really trust. These people know what they're talking about. So when they uh, give a great review and talk about certain technical aspects, then I trust them. So I will share some of that with you and some of the graphics. If you want to get into really good detail, go to the newpower.com website and they'll give you all the infinite details that you might want to know about. So let's take a closer look. So this is the New Power NPA-200S-12i solar panel. And why was I drawn to it? Well, I, I noticed on some videos online that they were talking about a new technology, 9BB. It's probably been around longer than I, than I was aware of. But I did hear that it made it more efficient. So the BB refers to bus bars. And it's nine bus bars, and it makes uh, all these different modules much more efficient in comparison to a five or six bus bar solar panel uh, in ideal conditions. And I do want to mention that. Some people, when they, if, they'll, if they get a 200 watt or whatever kind of solar panel they get, and this is industry wide, they think, oh, if it's a sunny day, I'm going to get 200 watts. No, you're not. Uh, it all, it depends the time of year, the angle of the sun, what time during the day or is the angle right hitting this. And so um, it's a little naive to think that you're going to get 200 out of a 200 watt panel. You are going to get up there. Most of these are pretty efficient. 85%, 90% is considered really good. Some are lower than that. And so uh, I don't expect that I'm now going to have 400 watts all the time when the sun shines. But I will get a lot of juice coming into my lithium batteries. Okay. Well, let's talk about the size. And that's another thing. Not only did I want the 9BB, and I wanted more power, 200 watt, but I needed it to fit between the roof rack fairing in the front and the Max Air fan. So let's talk about the dimensions. So it's 55.28 long, 27.76 wide, and 1.38 inches thick. And so as it turns out, this fits perfectly across my roof rack, right across a any typical van if you're going east-west. Some people depending on what they've got on the roof rack, where they have an air conditioner or a max air fan or whatever, they might go north-south. But for in my situation, going east-west, it fit, and it turns out a second one would fit on this side. So um, these, the 9 bus bar is the way to go if you want more efficiency um, in, in the standard situations where you're trying to bring sun and bring power in. So it, it converts the uh, solar power into electricity in a much more efficient manner. That, that's about as deep as I could get, okay? Um, and it's got all the protection against rain and all of the, the, the protection you want against hail and, uh, and wind. So uh, it's really well put together. It's got a uh, corrosion resistant anodized frame. And I spray paint the edges and the brackets black just to kind of match with my roof rack up there. Um, and so on the top here, this is where we're bringing the, the sun, solar power is coming in and it's converted. And let me turn this around and I'll show you what's going on in the back. So let's talk about what's on the back side of it. And this looks like any typical solar panel. Uh, we've got the junction box. It's a waterproof junction box here. 
and then we have extension cables and they are three feet in length uh, they still got the zip ties on them I'll be taking those off when I connect to the other uh, new power 200 watt panel up there it has the standard MC4 connectors and um, they have the uh, protection that is referred to as IP67 waterproof um, and then they have holes all along the side that are pre-drilled for you to mount and then um, let me tell you about these uh, brackets these are the new power NPB-UM universal flat mount Z brackets and so uh, you probably could get by with four but I asked uh, them to send me two sets as I mentioned before, I spray paint everything black, and uh, so they, uh, I decided to put four on each side, and so uh, they are, they've got lock washers, and so what you, you get uh, stainless steel hardware, which you want stainless steel, of course, outside, and you have four panel bolts, and then six penetration screws. Now, depending on your situation, you might want to have uh, longer uh, screws, or I'm going to put bolts in a couple of places, and then I may want to screw in deeper as I'm going into my wood deck up there. So you'll, you'll be seeing about that. But of course it's rust-free um, aluminum brackets. And when, you, when I get these mounted up there, it's definitely not going to move. So you, they send you all the screws and hardware you'll need in a typical installation. But in mine, I have to do a little adjusting because of my roof deck up there. So here we are up on the roof. I decided to move down uh, the driveway, get a little better light here, and get a nice maple behind us. Well here's the original uh, new power 200 watt that I bought and added eight brackets to it and I'm not going to give you a big technical report but I will tell you uh, it's 200 watts and I'm getting probably it depends again where you are situation time of day and all that but I'm definitely getting up in there to the 80 90 percent efficiency with this and if it's in perfectly it's basically what 55 by 28 so if you're a, a band builder this will fit perfectly within the edges of this Flatline Band Company roof rack. And then, as I said, some of it I installed, like here I have bolts with uh, washers and lock washers and lock nuts uh, just to hold it in. And then the rest of them are screwed into the wood, through the wood. And then on um, the front brackets, they're actually going into the 8020 aluminum. So I've got my Max Air fan here and then a across here I think I've got eight maybe ten uh, 80 20 crossbars and so they're screwed into those and absolutely will never move after that so this met my needs perfectly and I didn't have to uh, before 200 watt panels were just too big you could not fit them in here but because of the the 9bb construction that makes them uh, they're able to get I think it's down to 20 percent less size and still get highly efficient um, conversion with it with this uh, solar panel. Uh, so now let me flip the camera around show you where I'm going to put the second one and I'm about done. I did want to point out that uh, coming from the new power 200 watt panel are these black cables and they have they're terminated as you saw earlier with MC4 connectors and then I've got my own cables with MC4 connectors they're going down through a hole right underneath here and I'll show you some pictures. It's a junction box with um, the glands, uh, solar glands that keep the water out. It's, um, there's silicone, there's lap sealant, and so it's really well sealed, it will never leak. And so that, this wiring here is now going through the uh, sides of the van back to the power box that I call in the back of the van. So you can't see it, but that box is here. If I needed to get to it, I could take these boards off, but I sure wouldn't want to. Okay, so now we're looking toward the back of the van. And I want to tell you that this is um, a big storage box from Rome Adventure Company. And there's actually some space behind it. And you'll see there's a bar in front of it. And what I'm going to be doing, not today, but I'm going to be taking that bar um, and the ones that are going north-south, I'm going to cut them and move that bar back. So I'm actually going to pick up somewhere between 8 and 10 inches by the time I, I shove this box all the way back so that will give me plenty of room up here to mount the next panel. All right. Well today I was just going to put the solar panel on and I did but that took like no time at all but I did decide to go ahead and reposition this Rome Adventure storage box and now 
I had only a couple of inches of space. Now I picked up quite a bit. Much easier to work around up here. And these two panels fit perfectly. So we are all set with 400 watts plus our DC to DC charger. Really very pleased how it looks and how it fits especially. I still have room to enjoy our deck. Well, it's been a long day. Once I started, I realized it just wasn't smart to try to put that storage box, move it back, cut the frame, the 8020 aluminum bar frame back, and have that new solar panel right behind me. I could just see me dropping a drill or stepping on it. So I just moved the solar panel out of the way and attacked the storage box. And that went really well. I actually picked up more space than I expected, so I'm really happy about that. So now we have 400 watts up there. It's been cloudy. We're picking up a little sun. It's going to rain the next couple of days. Uh, but if you go to Char uh, at Charles Moment on Instagram, and I'll probably do a follow-up sometime uh, about the new power, but we have 400 watts up there now. And so, you know, on a good day, um, with all the conditions just right, I would expect to get somewhere between 350 to maybe 375. It just depends, again, where you are, time of the year, angle, and all that kind of stuff. It's wired in series, look that up. Um, and if you need more technical information, of course, New Power has it on their website, newpower.com. And then they, uh, you can also find people, there's a guy, Will Prowse, I highly recommend. He is, he's a genius with solar and all kinds of applications. So uh, that's another person you could check out. So we're all set. If you're uh, someone working on a van, this is a good option because almost everyone puts a Max Air fan in, sometimes two and you don't have much room on the side so this way you can put 200 here 200 there they fit perfectly up there and if you don't do the storage box like i did you could put a third one so you could have 600 watts up there uh, really high quality solar panels that uh, are the 9bb which are much more efficient so there you go thanks new power for sending the second panel and uh, we are really set with power in our ford transit thanks for watching